We are in a very good place with a combination of two extraordinary companies to make an even better company, an even stronger company, a company with even better equip to provide answers for our customers. Last year we upgraded guidance twice and uh, we also uh, delivered close to 90% of the run rate of the cost synergies and we start seeing already the first uh, cases of the growth synergies, as you so nicely say. We feel in an extraordinary good place, in a place of comfort where do, as we're moving forward, we're going to start capitalizing even stronger on the combina on these growth synergies. Either areas like in a, if you want me to give you sure. a couple of examples sure. on how it looks like. This is taking uh, beautiful enzymes uh, from uh, legacy of one company and then making uh, combining them in extraordinary presence we have now in dairy and make and bring in better solutions for our customers with high protein content dairy derivatives for example. This is uh, using the combination of both uh, uh, strengths from probiotics and making cross fertilizer and going to better solutions with the consumers all over the place. So we see really good momentum from our customers and we feel in a very good place to deliver on not only the growth synergies but across all areas that we have the committed to. And you haven't released any growth guidance yet, have you? Not yet, uh, not for the year. Uh, we, we did uh, in our Capital Markets Day, we stayed, uh, reinsured our commitment to deliver six to eight growth and accelerated growth with the implementation of the synergies and we are in a very good place to continue to be firm on that trajectory. Okay, so we're looking forward to learning a little bit more about that, yeah. but you mentioned the integration of the product portfolios, how you're using these enzymes, tying together key intellectual property on both sides here. What's one offering that you're super confident of in the year ahead? Can you give me an example? Oh, we have seen an extraordinary pull from uh, new developments in uh, detergents to replace uh, fillers, to bring uh, the whiteness effect while enabling compacting and uh, giving uh, biodegradability, but also enabling consumers to wash uh, their clothes at lower temperatures. This is a new development we've made, amazing developments in bioenergy to not drink bioethanol, but also f solutions for fit so it's bioethanol plus animal nutrition feed with value extraction of the DDGs or value extraction of the oils. Amazing solutions in high protein. I feel very excited about the untapped opportunities we are opening with a functionalized food, bringing that special protein that enriches the nutritional value with the combination of the strong cultures that we have. So many, many exciting uh, developments moving forward. Uh, we're going to continue to accelerate growth. Just to put your perspective, Close to 30% of our revenue, it's from solutions that we developed in the last five years. Mm. It's pretty impressive, uh, the backbone from innovation, and it comes with the strong value we generate for our customers. You mentioned innovation, and I think this is really important because so much of what you'll need to do in the future is the R&D spend, yes. right? So walk me through how you plan to keep the combined entity ahead of the innovation curve, and what does the R&D spend look like? Can you offer any guidance? Sure. We're spending a, a more or less close to 10% of our revenue in R&D. It's uh, quite a significant uh, figure, but at the same time, it is the one that enables us to also deliver this beautiful growth, also at very profitable margins. Of course. And the beauty here it is staying close to your customer, being curious about our customer needs across the 30 market segments that we, we present, and then provide the value-added solutions that they lead to higher yield, lower emissions, lower waste, or healthier foods, or higher yield. Food preservation is also an area that we see a very strong pull from our customers, how we can give functionalization in food while, without using chemicals, I'll still bring in the futures of health. I've been speaking